Tim Bowles is not your average college intern. The 20-year-old spent his summer at Intel developing a potentially life-saving device, the connected wheelchair. This wheelchair is made smarter with the addition of a computer board and other tech. So the system is not going to be mounted on any wheelchair, so we took an Intel Galileo and uh, mounted it to the wheelchair to collect sensor data from the wheelchair itself. Next, we use a bio-harness to collect biometric data from the user. Accelerometers on the wheelchair track speed, while other sensors keep tabs on voltage and battery life. And the bio-harness, worn around the user's chest, monitors heart rate, skin temperature, and breathing. True to its name, the wheelchair is connected. This particular prototype has a Wi-Fi hotspot on board. So data from the wheelchair and biometric data from the user can be streamed to a caregiver or a family member. By tracking vitals, the wheelchair could detect if a user has fallen over, a potentially fatal situation for a quadriplegic. After about five seconds, if you're still across there, it suddenly comes on on your tablet and says, if you don't cancel this call, 911 will be called to assist you in your emergency. An Intel tablet adds more functionality to the wheelchair. The accessibility app is able to allows users to mark waypoints at different locations as to whether they're good and accessible or bad and inaccessible, and that's shared with uh, other people with the app so they can kind of crowdsource the uh, better accessibility in a city. With the app, users could map the best route to a destination, avoiding intersections that lack curb cuts and reducing time spent riding in the street. The project holds such potential that it caught the eye of Stephen Hawking. This is a great example of how technology for the disabled is often a proving ground for the technology of the future. Tim Balls is back at college now, but he's lobbying for Intel to bring the connected wheelchair to market so it can one day end up on streets and sidewalks. In San Francisco, I'm Sumi Das, CNET.com for CBS News.